We passed around some some graphs here. I didn't uh, I didn't have quite enough for the whole crowd. There's actually three separate graphs in the pack that I handed out. So if everybody can make sure they have three different ones, and uh, maybe you can share it with somebody next to you. Um, but these graphs are about water level. Um, Mr. Teclo had a lot of discussions about water level, and I think there's some very important things that still need to be discussed about water level and how things have changed over the years on the Lake Winnebago system. Um, actually, he had my first graph up on the screen that he must have uh, scanned in, where it looks at the different time periods, early 80s, mid 90s, and now the late 2000s. Do you want that on the screen? We can put it up. Oh, that'd be fine. Sure. Can you talk about that, Art? Well, I know, but I just want to say. Again, why don't we talk about the questions that we have in this audience right now that are re rehashing what we've already talked about? Because sir, there's more data up there that I'd like you to good. talk about, and I think it's very important for right. weed control. And I'll just say, too, we will give him um, two minutes, and then we've got one more person waiting, and then we can queue up again if there's more people who'd like to make comments. Let's take a look at the low water level for the winter dry run. If you look at that graph, you can see the early 80s, we had one level we ran in. Mid-90s, mid we ran at a significantly different level, higher. So more water in the lake, less freezing going down and killing weed, roots of weeds near the shore. Now, since the later 90s through now, even higher. They said that these things have, they've seen this increase going on since the later 90s? Well, here's one reason. It's not the only reason, but with more water in the lake, less freezing getting down into the roots near the shore, more weed growth that goes on early on in the season. And then the second half of that is the fill-up chart. You can see here, there's essentially two areas. I put a trend line on there from beginning to now, and shows that we've increased about 30 days since 1980 till we hit that three-foot mark. The DNR says that's not a big deal. That's 30 days longer of lower water levels, more sunlight penetration, getting down, more weed growth early on. And this too has kind of a, there's actually a duality in here. We have the early one through the mid-90s, and then there's actually a, like a second one from the mid-90s again. These are conscientious decisions on the part of the people who control the water, and that is the DNR, not the Army Corps of Engineers. The Army Corps of Engineers sets the gate, the DNR says where to set it, for the most part. And that was told to me by the Army Corps, because we went around and around with this, who's in charge? So the Army Corps says it's the Wisconsin DNR, absolutely.